Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Fallout 4 Creation Club video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So Bethesda has actually updated the featured page once again for like the sixth week in a row or something like that. And they have brought us uh, some new things, a new bundle I guess. And they've decided to keep the Halloween skin bundle on here, which is still 100 credits down, which they actually haven't... Um, put anything on the front saying it's, you know, discounted like they were doing in the previous week. So, I don't know why that is, but yes, this is actually worth 400 credits. And yeah, you do get a couple of really cool skins, I guess, and for um, the guns and all of that stuff. But again, if you guys are playing on PS4, I highly recommend don't get these skins because yes, they can ruin your game. Again, I've, I've talked about it before. You can get this glitch called the Zero Kilobyte uh, glitch, I think it's called, and... Yeah, you, pretty much you have to reinstall your game to get your game to start working. And your game doesn't like save. I might, I still want to do a video on it, but I just always say I'm going to do a video on it. But I never actually get the time to or get around to doing it. But yeah, hopefully maybe a video on that will be coming out soon on why the glitch occurs and how to fix the glitch. But again, if you're on PS4, don't buy the skins because there is a chance you can get the glitch. Now, anyway, they have decided to release a new bundle called the Real Estate Bundle and... I don't actually know if this has been a bundle that we've seen before. Knowing Bethesda and what they've been doing with the Creation Club uh, featured page lately and, you know, all of that stuff. It's probably one that we have seen before. And, it's yeah, again, it's super interesting that they're still updating. I have no idea why they're updating it. Um, if you guys know why they keep updating it every week, please comment because I've had a couple of suggestions on why they keep updating it. But I don't think really anyone actually knows the actual reason why it keeps being updated. I mean, they don't even really add any new bundles or anything like that. But yeah, this is our first bit of new content that we get this week. It says, for limited time only, this bundle includes three creations, including Nuka Collector, Charlestown Condo, and Noir Penthouse. Together are worth 1,400 credits. And yeah, so it's 400 credits discounted. And in my opinion, I don't really play um, these much. I have bought all three um, I can remember this one is pretty cool if you just want a basic player home that you can't really customize that much. This one, uh, I believe it's called the Charlestown Condo, is one that's very customizable. Like, there's a lot of room that you can potentially move with. So, yeah, that's pretty cool like that. And then you got this one, which is the Nuka Cola Collector. Um, I think there is one or so floor that you can potentially customize. I can't really remember. I think there's a couple of things you can do on that one. But, yeah, this one in the middle... You can't really do anything with, which is called uh, the Noir Penthouse. But yeah, it's got some pretty cool backstory and lore on there. But yeah, that's on special and on a cheaper price. And then we got the Tunnel Snakes Rule one, which is really cool to see Bethesda actually advertising. This one is one of my favorites and is definitely worth the 500 credits if you haven't bought it already. Enjoy a Tunnel Snakes themed adventure featuring the original Fallout 10mm pistol and a new Tunnel Snakes jacket. Pistol created by Adam, the Rizzler, Ridsdale, and yeah, you get this really cool, unique pistol. I think it's called the Ulti Tenanium or something. I can't even remember. Ulti uh, it's so hard to pronounce from a memory. like I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, it's a mad pistol that they've decided to add, and they, you get a bunch of these it's um, really cool and nice Tunnel Snakes jackets. And after you've done the quest, I believe, a little bit later, you can actually go back and you can find um, these again. So once you got, like, the six Tunnel Snakes uh, jackets from the first time doing it, I believe you can actually go do it again. But, yeah, it obviously won't be, you know, just a mission. You'll pretty much just be doing the dungeon type of thing again. And, yeah, you can actually get the jacket and more jackets again. The gun is really cool. And they add these classic 10mm pistols, which are all around the map. Um, and, yeah, you can buy them from all these different type of vendors and all this stuff. Definitely one I recommend if you haven't bought it already. Probably, it's a top five favorite one of mine, definitely. Maybe even top three. It could even be my favorite, like... Yeah, it's, it's a very good one. I highly recommend it. Then there's the Pint Size Slasher, which, um, for me, I actually never got to play this one because I bought it. But on my PS4, it glitched out and it didn't work. So I spent 400 credits for something that didn't work. It really annoyed me. And I don't think you guys really have to worry about it if you're on PS4. I think it was just my game. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone report the glitch. And I don't think Bethesda ever fixed it. So... Yeah, actually, now that I've reinstalled the game, I might actually go back and check out later to see if it got fixed or not. But, 
Yeah, I can't even remember. Anyway, it's 400 credits. Who hasn't heard the story of the pint-sized slasher, the tiny terror, uh, terror of suburbia, whether it's the frightful clown mask or signature chief, uh, chef's knife, Having become one of the most popular legends in America folklore, some believe the pine-sized slasher only a myth, though the bodies tell a different story. Now, here's what's really interesting about this one for me. I just read this, and straight away, it brought to my mind the Joker. I, ju I went to go see the Joker yesterday on opening day in Australia. Don't know if it's out for everyone worldwide yet. I know it is in Australia, because as I said, I just went to go see it yesterday, and it's a, fa it's a very good movie, and... This is kind of just remind me about it. I don't know if this is a little bit of a hint from Bethesda about the new Joker movie. Like, you know, convenient the week where the Joker comes out. If, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you obviously know it's about clown. There's a lot of clown stuff to do with the Joker, for those of you who know the character. It's pretty cool that they've actually, rev you know, put this pint-sized slasher thing on here, which is pretty much like a, a clown sort of type of thing. Like, yeah, and the knife and all of this stuff, it just, I don't know. It's just... It really reminded me about Joker, and I think this could be a cool little addition from Bethesda in honor of the Joker movie that just got released, so maybe a little Easter egg there, I'm not too sure. Definitely comment in the comment section down below if you guys think it's an Easter egg or not. I definitely would really like to know. Then we got the Variety Pack Pip-Boy Bundle Volume 2 for 400 credits. This looks like you're going to get a lot of Pip-Boys in here. This says the Pip-Boy is the item... Um, is the one item no adventure no adventurer can live without. With volume two of the variety pack Pit Boy bundle, you can style this important accessory with a, a wide variety of and new faction paints, iconic fallout color schemes, and a classic design palette, including the new adventure skin with 13 skins in total, a total value of 650 credits. So that's 250 credits off. Not bad if you guys do like your Pit Boy skins. They do look pretty cool i have i have seen them and i do like them they are pretty decent so yeah if you guys haven't got this definitely get that in my opinion if you're interested in that type of stuff because yeah you get 13 new ones and if you love customizing and just changing it up a little bit that might be a nice one then we get a the free pip boy color of the week we get pip boy paint job cruiser 50 credits down to zero show off a new paint job for your pip boy uh, creation craftable via the armor workbench and yeah i guess it's just sort of like a red one with a bit of black on it so yeah those this is this week's update of the creation club i think it is it's pretty basic i mean they kind of do this every week but what's intrigued me so much about this week's ones way more than the rest of the ones is they've decided to obviously keep the halloween skin bundle still damn price they have released a new bundle but tunnel snakes rule one of my favorite and most popular creations is on the featured page and the pint-sized slasher, which is really interesting because of the Joker movie that just came out. So, I wonder if Bethesda had to, had to do anything with that. That would be really cool because, yeah, I have seen the Joker movie and it is a fantastic movie, in my opinion. I very liked, I very much liked it. And if you haven't seen it already, I definitely recommend it. And yeah, this pint-sized slasher skin, um, or a uh, little story, little mini DLC thing... I think could be a little bit of a in relation or a sneak peek slash Easter egg. Well, not sneak peek, a little, little bit of an Easter egg to the Joker movie that just got released. And yeah, you get some more Pit Boy bundles. But anyway, as I said, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And comment in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this week's Fallout um, Creation Club update. I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions. Where do you guys rate Tunnel Snake's rule in your creations as, you know, top five or whatever? Or do you guys not like it? I definitely would really like to know. And what are your thoughts about the Pine Size Slasher being a bit of a maybe mini Easter egg to the Joker? Do you think Bethesda actually planned that, or do you think it was just a mistake that's turned out really good with a happy ending? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below, so make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.